In this uh, short video, I'm going to show you how to access to the EBSCO database to initiate your literature review research. First of all, all you go to the uh, Grenoble web page, okay, you scroll down, click on other websites. From here, you go to library portal. In library portal, I go to academic support, DVA and PhD. In academic support, I'm going to the journals and encyclopedias. I click on BCS or BSC, sorry. And uh, during this process, uh, usually the website is going to ask for you your password to continue move, uh, moving on. Okay. So when I get to this page, the EBSCO page, I'm going to click on EBSCO host web I have several um, options of um, database I'm going to use business source complete okay so this uh, will be the page you'll be using during your literature review if you're accessing to app school remember you can also use Google Scholar but Google Scholar is not going to give you uh, much access to the pub publications but it's always a quick uh, to to uh, get information and after bring your uh, your um, potential publications to uh, further research in EBSCO. So, for example, if my research, uh, in my main subject of my research is the impact of um, risk factors on the portfolio management with um within the energy sector okay i can start by the most the, the most overall um, words keywords of my test so i can risk factors on portfolio manager like me here so what i'm using here I'm not using any of these options. So I have different options. I can, I, if I have a specific text, I can, I can put the entire text here. If you have a name of author, if a title of a publication, I want to get more information, okay? But I recommend you to get as general as possible. So I click on search. And now I'm going to get a large database, 2,568 publications. Okay, but in fact, when you go to the left side of uh, EBSCO, you see we are getting results for academic journals, magazines, trade publications, market research report, and newspaper. I want to focus my research on academic journals. Remember that uh, a thesis should be based on the previous publications. So I, I'm going to limit the, my research to academic journals, which is still a large number, 1,545. I see in this area that we have a large period of time. I'm going to reduce this probably 25 or 35 past years. Okay. And the, the research is going to narrow down the number of publications to 1,475. It's still a lot of publications. Okay. So, I'm not, of course, we are not going to spend time going through a large database. So, that's the reason why now I'm going to use what is more specific to my test. Huh? So, risk factor portfolio manager, margin on energy, energy, energy sector will be my second field, my second option. Okay, so now I kick, I reinitiate a, a new search. And voila, we get a more affordable number of publications to initiate our research, 11 publications, okay? So from these 11 publications, for example, I see one that could be interesting for me, uh, Energy Stocks, a separate portfolio allocation, is a recent publication, 2012, good. So I try to get, uh, I would say, the past five to 10, uh, 10 years publications because when you go inside, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you that you can get historical information for a second or third or fourth research 
during your literature review. So I click on any energy stocks as a separate portfolio allocation and I'm not going to read the entire paper. What I'm going to focus in is in the subject matter that is described in the abstract. Okay, If the abstract is interesting to my thesis, to the subject I want to, I, I, I'm, I'm exploring, so I can sum most, sorry, most of the uh, publications in web, web school, they are available to uh, download. So I can download the entire paper. I click on PDF full text on the left. I wait a little bit. Some publications take some time to be downloaded. And once I will get the entire paper in my screen, voila. Okay, I, I'm going to initiate my research. Uh, so I initiate my research, and my advice for you is you don't need to, lead, to read, uh, you have 50 or 70 pages in, your, uh, in a paper. Go, go to the introduction. The introduction is going to give you already an idea if the paper is talking about something that would be that it could be interesting or aligned to your th thesis okay uh, most of introduction uh, in most of, of introduction we are going to find prior research so prior research is going to give to give you some uh, tips about all the publications other papers that you should be looking at to extend your literature review okay uh, any publications you can find as well the method methodology used to uh, to um, uh, defend the idea published in the paper and you should be going that's another device should be going to the conclusions at the end okay let's say conclusions Conclusion and investment implications. So I look for conclusions. I say, okay, this uh, this paper uh, matched with my uh, my thesis. What can be one good source to uh, describe my thesis? And another thing important is in the conclusions you can see investment implications. Do not forget that your uh, thesis at the end should should show uh, business or investment implications. Would you be evaluate uh, in your final report? Okay. The other thing interesting are uh, the papers. So in the papers you can find a, a, a list of reference, and if the paper was a good one, it's worthwhile to look for other papers inside where you can find interesting information that it could be that could be uh, um, explored. Uh, for your thesis. So this is how we start increasing the database of publication, the number of publications to be researched. Okay. So for example, here I'm looking oil and stock markets. Uh, oil stock markets. This could be interesting for my thesis because I'm talking about the risk factors on the portfolio management, uh, allocation betas how beta better related to risk. So this could be another interesting uh, paper to explore. Does oil move equity price? I'm talking about risk, about portfolio management. So oil and price are important. So I can continue doing my research, okay? And for example, though uh, I can take one of these titles and reinitiate again my research. Does, again, okay, let's go, does oil, oil move equity price? I go back to my initial page. Thus, oil price that's oil move equity. Price uh, 
I take out energy sector because it's clear inside. And I get what? Two, two papers. Huh? Two papers where I can continue again, restart again my <coughs> dust oil, no, not hinder democracy, sorry. There's not gonna dust oil, dust oil, move equity price. Mm. So I can go inside and see this academic paper that which was in the reference list of my previous one. I click on this and reinitiate the same process. I read the abstract. So the abstract has information, has conclusions. The abstract used to show um, the essence uh, uh, of any pu pu uh, publication. So this is where you have to, is by where you have to start your research. Okay. So this is interesting for me. I go again, I go now, I'm going to download the paper. So the paper here, that's all your price. So I have I do the same process. Okay, introduction. I see if introduction has information. And it starts writing, get information, start writing my <clears throat> literature review, okay, from these papers. And again I do the same. If the methodolo methodology used uh, is uh, comp comprehensible. I can understand what they are doing. I think this is important. I can inspire from 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 this idea to uh, do my uh, next stage. So I take I take this from the papers I'm I am studying. Okay, I do the same exercise. Go to the end. Go to summary and conclusions to see if it, it is in line with my text. I can find other reference. And maybe in other reference, I still I can find other uh, literature that would be interesting to complete my uh, the entire literature review. So that's the process in the literature review. Okay, you go paper by paper, and it's like a puzzle. You are you are building up the body of your literature review. So that's all uh, for uh, for now. You. Uh, you will be contacted by email and we are going to uh, do a uh, Skype and talk uh, further about the literature review in the uh, next stage. Thank you. Bye.